traders, FS Vecoletta here. Today is Thursday, October 10th, and this is my recap of the top viewed videos of the day, and gold came in number two today, so we're going to do a quick recap on the one hour time frame. If you didn't see my full top down analysis on gold from this morning, make sure you check out the video linked at the end of this video over here. But first, don't forget to check out my website, fxpepcollector.com, if you'd like to get access to my swing trade signals, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trades trading course. So today was CPI inflation data. Gold actually moved uh, pretty decent compared to all the other dollar pairs. Most of the other dollar pairs barely moved at all. Gold did go up. Gold did break Strutzer. So hopefully this is the end of a wave C right here. If this is the end of a wave C, then this is likely going to end up doing something like this and just continuing the uptrend. So now I got my Fibonacci retracement on there. And after the break of structure is where I look to go long. So I didn't trade the first push up. But now that we got a pullback coming, I'm looking for three waves down. Probably would have to go down to the 15 minute time frame to see it. Three waves down. Fibonacci bounce and golfing move to the upside is what I would be looking for for my next entry to go long. Hopefully this is the end of a wave C and if it is the end of a wave C it will likely continue the uptrend. So we do have a few pretty decent things on the news calendar. Uh, we have GDP for the pound tomorrow morning. We also have unemployment claims, unemployment rate for the CAD. And we have PPI news, which is, has a lot to do with inflation. So hopefully the PPI news will kick these dollar pairs into AtSyn. So anyways, don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked out here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.